if you're a developer, if you're a publisher of any kind and you're not Arrowhead Games or the CEO of Arrowhead Games, you need to be paying attention to Arrowhead Games and their development process for this whole situation because this whole situation for this game revolving around this game is absolutely a big teachable moment and a big pivot for us in gaming. My name is Ani the Greatest. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. And this is going to be the reason why everybody should kind of turn their heads towards Hell Divers 2. This is going to be like my kind of like my summary of like what they've been through to get to where they are now and how they're handling, how they're continuing to handle the situation. As you know, the CEO of Arrowhead Games, who on Twitter again is very, very, very active. Um, he he has been phenomenal with responses he's been very open about how he treats his dev team and how sony has been you know helping him out with engineers and stuff and so just one of the, some of the big things some of the big things we expect the hell divers 2 servers to be at 800k capacity in three to four hours there might be light cues to get at peak also how crazy is this message from a studio of approximately 100 devs this was not really an hour ago this is actually like saturday around like eight o'clock i'm just covering it now but he ex he's literally they're literally scraping by and are still able to increase their service tenfold they started with like what 100k or 200k right at launch they've increased it to 800k capacity amidst all of what was going on with the 400k capacity and everybody was getting queued up as, uh, along with that, we did get a previous patch that took out, took out all the AFK players, which I think that was really the biggest problem. And it stopped some of the bleeding because then people got kicked out and more people that were joining in can join in. Uh, what they were afraid of was that even if they fixed that problem, that the servers weren't going to be able to still hold capacity because then more people will jump on because the servers are working properly and then it will cause another problem. Yada, yada, yada. It would still be like a rinse and repeat. But them increasing the servers 10, 10 times more actually helps them because now they have room or leg room to be like, okay, you know, even if it does go over, we still have room to cover. And so getting onto, into that, that was just like my, again, the tidbit of that, but their whole backstory of how this game has been in development for years and the promotion and the marketing just wasn't as solid. And then these guys come out and it gets word word of mouth spreads and you have to give your, your you have to give credit to the consumers we spread the word around got the word around saw videos saw clips everybody decided to put their money on the game take their chances and they enjoyed it the only problem was the servers and i love i really just love this game i just love how intricate it is the stratagems the bugs the enemies the, the all the stuff you have to do to even get out and extract the long mission times don't scare me at all. A 40 minute mission? I just, I don't know. It just doesn't even seem like a 40 minute mission to me, especially when you're playing with friends. And so getting on into like this next section here, I just want to share some tidbits with you again, how open he really is. He says this, it's actually just optimizations at this point. We have some great support from top Sony backend engineers. Also, the rest of the team is working on some really cool stuff. So now we have a little section here where he's actually teasing more more content that's coming because we forget this game may be small but they have free content coming so we can gradually get bigger and so with that being said he's literally hey he's he's so open guys like you can just go follow him on twitter like and you see his handle right there like he really 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 is interacting with the community he truly truly cares about the gaming industry and truly cares about his game and so well their game and so with all that being said he said you know he hints he says the rest of the team is working on some real cool stuff so it looks like they have a separate team for devs, you know, working on the servers and working on all the maintenance and stuff. And then there's another side where they're like, hey, go ahead and cook up that free content, cook up that DLC for, for everybody. You know, all the, you know, the live service stuff that they have planned. I'm I'm pretty sure they're still working on that. Like, I know the server issues might have put a slight halt on some of those plans, but now it looks like he's like, hey, we're ready. We're, hey, we're not, we haven't forgot about our free content. We haven't forgot about the future of Helldivers. We're just working on what, the problems at, at hand now. And so we get on to even more stuff. He's literally, again, teasing, just like, he's just teasing at, at this point. He says, uh, again, I haven't recorded the whole thing, but this is in reference to uh, a per one of the persons were saying something like, uh, I think they were responding to 
uh, how you can be stealthy. There's like a video or a clip of somebody you saying you can be stealthy uh, or going, going against like the Terminators. I'm going to call them Terminators. I'm sorry. And um, he says, I know. I used to rock subatomic, subsonic, sorry, subatomic, subsonic ammo and suppressor and do this quite a bit during playtest. And then people kind of reacted. I did too. I was like, wait, 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 wait. You, we, I don't, I've never seen a subsonic ammo or sub, I've never, what? You can do, you can do what? I've never seen that. And so it's like, he's literally teasing extra things that are going to be coming into the game in terms of gunplay. So it's going to be, it's not going to be just free content in terms of world building and planets. It's going to be gunplay mechanics, uh, new, new stuff to add when it comes to like, I guess, attachments. Maybe we might have an attachment system in the future, things like that. I'm really just excited in the direction that this game is going. I just wanted to share that these guys have been through a lot of work and that this success was inevitable. That's what that's what really this is. This success was an inevitable. This is a teachable moment to show that taking your time, working on the game, not listening to anybody's opinions and working on a community because even the CEO, he said it himself, like somebody said something like, oh, uh, I don't like this game because you know it's not for me or something like that. And he replied and he says, if you make something for everyone, then you make something for no one or whatever that quote is. I, I kind of think I quoted it wrong, but you guys get what I mean. Like he basically say like, yo, it, if it's not for you, then it's just not for you. We're just tailoring to the community that it's tailored for. The success it's, it's getting is just based on the community that we're, that we're tailoring to. And so they're really showing that, hey, taking your time, really not trying to get a cash grab. I mean, they got microtransactions, but it's really small and you can get most of it. I barely use... I barely bought anything. I've just been playing the game and I've just been like just grabbing my requisitions and the stuff that they give you and try to level up my strategy or something. It really is too interactive for you to really focus on cosmetics, even, even if you are into it. So that is all for my little take on Helldivers 2 and their little journey. I appreciate the support of my videos, guys. Thank you guys for liking my videos. And all this. If you guys want to see some raw gameplay, like um, just of me playing Helldivers, um, let me know. Like, let me know if you want to see me just uh, chatting up my friends. You know, I'm always playing with friends and all that good stuff. This vibes is pretty funny and all that good stuff. So let me know if you want to see some raw gameplay and all that good stuff. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new and get on some more Helldivers 2 content. Peace.